The diamond industry of Africa is an important world player in producing cut diamonds for wholesale. In 2010, Israel became the chair of the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme. As of 2016, cut diamonds constituted 23.2% of Israel's total exports and they were the country's biggest export product, amounting to 12% of the world's production. History Jewish traditional craft Diamond cutting is a traditional Jewish craft with centuries of history. In the late 15th century, Jewish diamond cutter Lodewijk van Berken invented the scaife polishing wheel, a technological innovation that revolutionized the industry. Pre-state beginnings What was to become the Israeli diamond industry began in 1937, eleven years before the State of Israel was established, when the first diamond polishing plant was opened in Petah Tikva by refugee experts from the Netherlands. In 1938 the 15% import duty on imported rough stones was removed. By 1944 the industry employed 3,300 workers in 33 factories, with pound p 1,320,000 capital investment, entirely Jewish. The value of exports was over pound p 3,200,000 mainly to the United States, Canada, and India. It was the largest value of any single commodity exported from mandatory Palestine that year. Between 1944 and 1948, the industry suffered from the increasing lawlessness and in February 1948 closed down completely. Topic First years of the State of Israel After a state was declared, the consumer economy was shifted to a war economy. This came at the height of a diamond crisis, as many war torn economies were struggling to re establish. During the first 15 years of Israel's existence, diamonds and Jaffa oranges were the new state's main export products. After reaching its lowest point in the wake of the 1948 closedown, the industry has continued to grow, producing a world leader in the diamond industry. Current state In the beginning of the 21st century, Israel is one of the world's three major centers for polished diamonds, alongside Belgium and India. Israel's net polished diamond exports slid 22.8% in 2012 as polished diamond exports fell to $5.56 billion from $7.2 billion in 2011. Net exports of rough diamonds dropped 20.1% to $2.8 billion and net exports of polished diamonds slipped 24.9% to $4.3 billion, while net rough diamond imports dropped 12.9% to $3.8 billion. The United States is the largest market accounting for 36% of overall export market for polished diamonds while Hong Kong remains at second with 28% and Belgium at 8% coming in third in 2007 when diamonds still constituted almost 24% of Israel's total exports 12% of world diamonds by the value were polished in the country in 2010 this number decreased to 9% as of 2016, diamonds amounted to 28% of Israel's total exports and they were still 12% of the world's production. Trading infrastructure The industry is located in the ''Diamond District'', located in Ramat Gan in the Tel Aviv district. The complex is made up of four buildings, interconnected with walkways. The entire trading operation takes place in this complex. The diamond tower in the district contains the world's largest diamond trading floor. 
Israel's government funds a non-profit industry body, the Israel Diamond Institute, to represent organizations and institutions involved in Israel's diamond industry. Topic: <laughs> Industry principles. The Israeli diamond industry guarantees all diamonds are 100% naturally made and participates in the Kimberley process, a certification scheme whose goal is to ensure no blood diamonds enter the marketplace. See also Economy of Israel Moshe Schnitzer, key player in the international diamond trade, from 1967 to 1993 President of the Israel Diamond Exchange. <laughs>